In this video, we're going to be having a look at following requests. Following requests is a great way to keep updated or notified of any changes or the progress of an incident problem or change, particularly when uh, that uh, request is being managed by another person or maybe even another team. So we're just going to start by going to my request list. And in this list, we have a particular call that I'm going to uh, go through and reassign this to another team. So I'm just going to select the second line team from the list. And from within that team, I'm now going to assign this to Brian. Now that it's assigned, I still may want to keep track of any updates or progress that Brian might have on this incident. So I'm just going to click on the follow option down in the timeline. Now having clicked this, I'll receive notifications and updates anytime something changes to this request. Back to my request list, I have an option to select I'm following. This shows me a list of all the requests that I'm currently following. Going back to my news feed, this is one of the places where I'll receive notifications on those requests. So here we see that Brian has now updated this particular request. From here we can see the incident and we can click on that to be able to access that particular incident record. Now we also see that I've received a notification as well. And again, by clicking on that incident, that will take me through. And now I can now view that record and check for all other updates. 